Chandler, one thing comes to mind. Maybe, perhaps, you know, we shouldn't be so sceptical. We as people, we've got this really sort of fear complex at the moment. We think everyone's out to get us. Look, we're living in a place where people are inquisitive. And I can relate this because I've got English family. So they'll openly ask me questions. They want to know the answer. They'll ask you a question. And what we do is we become ultra defensive. Because we haven't interacted, look, every day, morning, noon and night, there'll be something to do with Muslims on the media. Now we have to wake up to the reality that people are inquisitive. People want to know about our faith. How do we respond to this call? Let's just say someone says, brother, why, uh, excuse me, why do you have a beard? Why do you pray? Why does your wife cover up? I go, no, 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 sorry, it's my religion, sorry. No, no, no. Like, we become ultra defensive. No, let's talk, let's start the discussion. I mean, subhanAllah, the, I mean, for a good thing, you see there are some masjids that have started to open the doors post 9-11 to undo hostility which has now faced the Muslim community at large, which I think is a good initiative forward. Yes, there should be certain perimeters in, in place and boundaries, of course, we, if we don't treat it like a fairground, the masjid has its sanctity, we keep that. However, but the Prophet ﷺ also held delegations in the masjid. People from outside would come to meet him ﷺ within the masjid. Because there are perhaps some people think that no, 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 Asan, why should we do it? Why should we? Saudi Masjid, the Jizah Masjid, why should we do it? No, we need to think a bit different. We can't act on this superiority complex, but rather think that for the wider khayr of this ummah, how do we include our wider neighbors into Islam? How do we show them the real beauty of Islam? Okay, non Muslims there. Our own Muslims, even, they are those people that are becoming skeptical of Islam. <coughs> As I mentioned, perhaps the, 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 the rhetoric which we hear, perhaps it's not all sinister. I mean, wallahu alam, there may be some people that have got an agenda to constantly defame and talk about Muslims in a negative way. That's a possibility and I'm not ruling that out. But I'm also saying this as well, and I'm stating what I understand from one angle. That it also is a possibility that people are just misinformed. Perhaps they're not doing it with an ill intent, they're just misinformed. Now you've got two examples here. One side, you cannot help them people. But people who are misinformed, what are we doing to undo that hostility? What are we doing to kind of turn the tide? What are we doing to kind of educate and inform those people? Muslims themselves, Muslims themselves have become victim of this way of thinking. A Muslim himself, herself.